Kal Chu's already been brought back to life once. We need to make sure that can't happen again. The Duke had Mages Guild researchers working on that problem. They're trying to find out how Fal Chu originally died. If you want to help, they're at Glen Ember Moors, the battle site where Fal Chu died the first time. A messenger? From Aldcroft, by any chance? What news from there? We heard reports that Camlorn refugees had inundated the town. That's good. Losing Camlorn was bad enough. Meanwhile, we've made significant progress here. Our research is finally beginning to yield results. The ghosts of the Alessian army still haunt this place. It's been an age since the Battle of Glenumbra Moors raged here. Yet the spirits linger. Falchu, the beast that ravages Camlorn. He fought and died here. We want to know what happened all those years ago. Then we can kill him again. Sarveth, our master of Incanabula, hopes to evoke a vision that shows us the events surrounding Falchu's death. We're collecting the most powerful historic artifacts to use as focus objects. The spirits are making the task difficult, however. The generals of the Alessian army played a vital part in the Battle of the Glenumbra Moors. Their weapons, if still intact, would suffice, I think. If you manage to get your hands on the weapons, find Sarveth. He knows what to do from there. Falchu wasn't called the Invincible General for nothing. You can cut him, bash him, fill him full of arrows. He just keeps coming. We must discover how they stopped him and ended this ancient war. I could tell you the basic story, but if you want a deeper understanding, you need to ask our lore master, Dalina. She's up on the tower observing the movement of the spirits. Just look at those lost souls. What drives them? Why do they fight on? Of course, what would you like to know? This is where Clan Dereni fought to defend High Rock against the invading Alessian Order. The Alessians outnumbered them three to one, but this was Dereni land, and the clan prevailed. The Alessians were a fundamentalist sect that wanted to purge elven influence from Tamriel's religions. We think Falchu was one of their generals. They called him the Changeling and the Invincible One. Nothing could stop Falchu. The soldiers he bit became werewolves and turned against their own. This land should have fallen to his lycanthropic plague, but someone or something killed him that day. Legends tell us that the Nameless Soldier killed Falchu. It's said the Nameless Soldier prevailed by making a great sacrifice. The Dereni settled in High Rock long ago. They were ancient High Elves who stood with the local Bretons against the Alessian invaders. Seems likely. We don't know how the Nameless Soldier defeated Falchu yet, but we're determined to figure it out. Mage's Guild has never been known as a militaristic force. You tend to find us in ruins, searching for lost knowledge. But sometimes, even scholars need to take up arms. Never would have thought that I, a mere farmer's son, would one day explore the ruins of the Glenumbra Moors. I'll never forget this experience.
It's true. Falchu is tall as a tree, with claws like great swords. Yes, yes, and he breathed fire and ate warriors, armor and all. I've heard it all before. Bagaroon here claims that the threat Falchu poses has been greatly exaggerated. Poor fool wouldn't know a moth from a mammoth. Ah, the focus objects. These would do very nicely. Let me just, uh, hmm. I don't think that was supposed to come off. Well, these swords are pretty beat up. I'm sure we'll still have plenty of material for the ritual, though. If all goes well, we'll be able to peer into the past. Hopefully see what happened to Falchu. Find out how the Durenis were able to defeat the Alessians so long ago. And if something goes wrong, well, then we shall see what we shall see. Of course, we'll be using the amalgamated essence of the past, focus with these ancient weapons to open a sort of window into history. Follow me. Now we may finally learn how Falchu was defeated. And maybe we'll find out how tall the Horker really was. Listen to me. You must listen. There's the one that defeated the corrupted spirit inside of the weird tree. Giuliano's little teapot! We did it, I think. The spell worked better than I anticipated. We didn't just create a window into the past, we opened a door. The very air ripples with temporal disturbance. Somewhere nearby, a door into history stands open. All we need to do is step through it. A fragment from the past, I think. Something that was pulled forward with the spell. Let's hope that was all we pulled forward. Someone brave and rash enough has to actually step through the door we opened. I'm too valuable to get lost in the past, and Bagroon would probably change history with all his usual bumbling about. Ask Grala what she thinks we should do. Well, at least I can say that Sarvis' spells are consistent. They never fail to fail. <laughs> We heard a scream, and then ripples of magical distortion started to sweep across the battlefield. What happened? They were supposed to cast a simple divination spell, nothing more! Sarveth wasn't supposed to open any doorways. I don't like this. Time magic shouldn't be meddled with. But what's done is done. Maybe one of those ripples has the answers we seek. Examine the ripples. See if there really is a doorway of some kind out there, and keep an eye out for anything else out of the ordinary. Who knows what they may have pulled out of the past. You seek to see into the past. I can guide you. I can show you how Fal Chu met his death. If Fal Chu has risen, then he must die again. Go to the crypt. I'll meet you there and show you how to discover the secret you seek. I remember this place. It all started here, on the day of the final battle. We gave up everything to kill Foul Chu. I'll be damned if I just let him come back to life and curse the world again. I'm here because the one I loved gave up everything that day to save his people. You seek answers. I'm here to help you find them, and hopefully avoid the tragedy that occurred on that long ago day. This armor is your key to the past. It belonged to my beloved and was buried in this place of honor. It was my beloved's hand that cut Fao Chu down. You'll relive the last moments of the battle. You'll take the place of my beloved. Experience the fall of Fao Chu as it happened. But be careful. You can affect events, 
Whatever you do may have untold consequences. You won't just see a vision of the past, you'll live through it. What you do may change the destiny of those around you. This is a terrible burden to carry, but it's the only way to get the information you seek. When you're ready, put on the armor. Oh, this armor brings back such memories. Now get dressed. There's much to see, and the connection to the past won't last long. When Fao Chu dies, the armor will eject you from the past. You'll return unharmed to the here and now. Yes, that's what will happen. I'm sure of it. It was a violent, bloody time. The Alessians were on a holy crusade to purge every Mur who occupied this land and called it home. They destroyed anything with even the smallest connection to magic. Would you stand by while those who didn't deserve to die were judged by religious zealots? Unless I strongly misjudged you, I think not. We did what was right, and we would do it again, which is why I'm here. Wise, kind, courageous. Everything one could want from a constant companion. But you'll see soon enough. I only hope that what you learn will help you in the present situation. starting to worry about you. Why do you linger, my love? Commander Parmion rallies the troops for the final assault. You're his best officer and our noblest knight. You should be at his side for this moment. Did that blow to your head rattle your senses? We're on the verge of turning the tide, and we'll launch the strike against Falchu's headquarters soon. Come, my love. We have work to do. The Alessian orders, of course. They're crucial. We captured the messenger, but not before he handed the orders off. We need to search enemy soldiers until we can retrieve them. We can't have the Alessians surprise us when we're this close to victory. Do what you have to do and find those orders. Then find me at camp. We need to talk. About time you returned. There you are, my knight. Did you recover the orders? Excellent. You're a credit to the Dureni Guard. Now we can prepare a proper counterattack to the upcoming Alessian assault. They won't know what hit them. You should show these to the Iliad King. He just arrived and is eager to get involved. Yes, he surprised us all. We weren't expecting the last king of a dying people to show up on the field of battle. But he's a brilliant tactician and his advice can only help. Meanwhile, we'll send Alana's unit to put an end to Falchu. What? Nonsense. Alana can handle it. If these orders are any indication, I need you to lead our defenses. But speak to Alana before she goes, if you like. Just make it quick, and don't forget to talk to the king. A Breton, fighting for the Dareni. Somewhat surprising, though not unheard of, considering the current circumstances. Wait a moment. That armor. I've heard stories about you. They say you fight as if Auriel himself blessed you. The situation unfolding upon the battlefield is telling enough. These orders only confirm my suspicions. 
The Alessians plan to slip past your defenses to, how do they put it, catch the Dereni with their trousers down. <laughs> what a curious phrase. Use the Dereni magic of your armor to spot the covert shadow scouts before they can do any significant damage. Then dispatch them with extreme prejudice. A simple enough, really. But I'm actually very curious about you. These old alien eyes see many things. Everyone in this yard, for example, radiates an aura of life force. But not you. Your aura's missing. I can't tell if you're not truly alive, or you just don't belong. I've never seen magic like this before. Honesty. A most redeeming quality. But we will have to speak of this later, when matters are less pressing. Right now, we have a battle to win. I appreciate your report. I know you wanted to go after Falchu, but you'll see plenty of action defending the camp. I appreciate your concern, my love, but orders are orders. If either of us fails, this entire battle could be lost. But have no fear. I'll make sure we never have to worry about Fao Chu again. How? He's just a man, my love. I'll stick my sword in him a few times until he drops. Then I'll stab him again. I'll be back in no time, carrying his head high as a trophy. I can't think of a better gift to celebrate our new family. Later, my love. I'll tell you all about it after the battle. No need to distract you right now. It's nothing but good news, though, I promise. I love you, you know. Now go. We make our final stand here. The Alessians are rabble and their numbers mean nothing. This land is ours and we intend to keep it. Today, Fao Chu and the Alessians meet their end at our hands. Today, we celebrate our victory. Choose headquarters. We were ambushed, surrounded. Alana and the others. <laughs> there were too many of them. They tore us apart. Captain, I have bad news. Commander Parmion is dead. Commander Parmian decided to accompany us, but it was a trap. We expected to find Fao Chu and his officers, but there was a whole platoon waiting for us. We couldn't stop them. The commander fought bravely, but they cut him down and took Alana. I'm afraid there isn't much time. We expect Fao Chu to launch a full-scale assault at any moment. It's a tough choice. I think there are enough of us left alive to go after Fao Chu, but we also need to rescue Alana. I don't know. What are your orders, Captain? This isn't an easy choice, I know. I don't envy you. But whatever you decide, we're with you. Very well, Captain. I'll send one of our soldiers with you. She'll meet you inside.
those damn fires out. It's time to wipe out all traces of those Dorini. <laughs> Dorini, put an end to these pests now. Light it up. Tear you to pieces! No, not fire! Use the fire, while Jews afraid of the flames! Return to your time. You learn that Falchu's weakness is fire. Use that knowledge well. Now enter the nearby portal. It will take you home. To the past and back again. <laughs> uh, are you all right? The ancient armor, it drew you into the past, but we knew it was temporary. You belong here, my friend. Fire, of course. That makes all kinds of sense. Quickly, report your findings to Grala. She needs to hear what you've learned. You're back and you're safe. Thank the divines. I was afraid we lost you. According to the legends, when the Nameless Soldier killed Falchu, the armor shattered. The Nameless Soldier died. I was afraid history would repeat itself. She was killed, but her sacrifice was worth it, both in the past and in the present. If you discovered Falchu's weakness, then Alana's death wasn't in vain. Fire, of course! That makes perfect sense. The beast can't stand against its purifying flame. With your help, we will set Camlorn free and destroy Falchu once and for all. Now we know Falchu's weakness. We must share this knowledge with Camlorn. I just hope there's still time to save the city. If you go north, you should be able to catch up with the Lion Guard forces. Find an officer and tell him what we learned. Knowing Falchu's weakness might make all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> 